Hi guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A. Um, we couldn't start it in the event. I don't know, I think Facebook has an arrow. Welcome to this week. Cool, then we are on. I think Facebook's like an arrow, so I'm just gonna wait and see if the people who were supposed to um, tap in are gonna tap in here. So if you guys can hear me, please let me know. Hi Isabella, can you let me know if the sound is okay? Hi Anouk! So I'm just gonna wait uh, for a while to people, for people to tap in as, um, as we had to start it here. Uh, oh, thanks Isabella! <laughs> we had to start it here because for whatever reason it was shut down um, in the in the event that we created it in. So while people are signing in, I think I'm just gonna read something in this book apparently. Da, da, da. Just because then Herman uh, Hellman uh, is right. Today we have Pauline and Herman here with us, by the way. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so Okay, pick a number between 1 and 14. 11. <laughs> About love, pyramid and the grid. <laughs> of course. What else? Um, 70. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna read a little piece while people are still locking in and then we will start the actually Q&A. Jacqueline, you say 7, really? What would seven have been? Mm -hmm. Wisdom of Stone and Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. That's what I, had. Mm -hmm. I had seven. I didn't <laughs> say that. First. Me too, first. Okay. And then, and then I first. Yeah. <laughs> There's discussions behind the screens. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have to say, I never read my own book. I literally don't know what is in it, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Love is everything. So where do we start? Her laughter fills the air around us with vibrating energy and a world starts spinning again when she continues. Love is the essence of everything there is. I know we say it is energy, light, frequency and flow, but love is the essence of all we have to learn and all that we are. Love is the essence of all that can heal. Love is all that can heal. Love is the essence of all that can heal. I need to learn how to read. Um, love is the answer to every question that you have. Love is the antidote to every poison ever made. And love comes in so many shapes and in so many forms. To recognize love within everything is a journey, a journey worth taking. Love is also behind everything. Love is the trigger for every unbalance ever created in this planet system. Love can take a person, anyone, beside the one who are sent here to... Um, what? Beside the one who is sent here with the only persons to destroy love and light. They don't count. But everybody else, no matter if they are rapists, killers or whatever, there's still love in them. And what they do, they do in the search of love. And when you can accept that as a truth, you can connect to their souls and you can see who they are behind their pain and their suffering. And then you can forgive them as well as forgiving yourself. Some of the people who come into my life are making me feel deep compassions. Are criminals, soldiers, coming uh, home from war with difficult traumas. But when I look deep within them, I only see love. Of course I see all the pain and suffering around them, but they're strong-hearted, fighting 
for what they truly thought was right. It is so beautiful um, and within that, within everything. You can actually not say there is a right or there is a wrong. There is only different perceptions. They made different choices and took different turns in life. It doesn't matter if you are a cop or a criminal, the United States or Iraq. It is all the same game. You are just playing from different angles and different sides. Okay, I'm gonna read the last part of this site and then we're gonna start. Love is within everything. It is within the water. It is within the wind, in the sky, and in the planet, and the plants. In lower vibrating places, places in higher vibrating places. And the funny part is that it is always around us. Humans just need to learn how to tap into it. Look at this beautiful place, for example. We are in Bosnia right now and the valleys of the pyramids are here and we are um, accessed, accessing. <laughs> we have access to some of the most powerful energetic places existing on this earth right now. What are they surrounded by? People living in different kind of fears. Some of them are staying in their fear for Allah or God will punish them if they uh, do not follow the written words. The truth is, the only truth is what you will feel in your heart and connect to that love that is there. They would heal instantly. We have unconditional love all around us. Ripped fruit and falling from the trees pure affinity and fertility. And on the other side, we have everything we use to suppress our feelings with, smokes, alcohol, drugs, in many different forms. All the things that we are able to suppress our feelings, uh, especially when we are facing hard times. We also need to realize that we all need to go through pain within our system. The pain we do not want to feel. We need to recognize that it's only feelings and it's only flow. And in that, just for a moment, and, uh, and it is just for a moment, as it is with all fears, when you walk through it to the other side, there is only love. Um, and when we choose to step into the unconditional love that is all around us, it will wash us clean. So that was a little part of chapter 11 from the book. And I can see that people are starting to sign in. Um, yeah. Do we have any, any words or something? To silence. I love your voice. You really oh, it. really? That you should be uh, having the, creating the audio book for your own. Well, thank you. <laughs> I have to learn to read my own words, apparently. So, um, okay, I'm gonna start this Q&A with... The last week I had a lot of questions coming from fear and coming from frustration over everything that's going on in our world right now. And I decided that I wanted to address a part of this um, as we just read in this chapter, which is so funny, everything is energy. Everything that you send out, everything that is within you, everything that are surrounding you, everything is energy. So in this time with so much fear and so much control and so many voices, so many dark voices in our heads. We need to learn to listen to the love. We need to learn to listen to the soft voice. We need to learn to listen to the trust, the trust within. I, uh, this is gonna sound weird, but I had a talk with the devil recently. 
because I thought, well, here we are representing the light and here we are talking about all the beauty in life and trust and faith and everything. So let's have a talk with the other side. And what is really beautiful is that on earth we play this game called duality. In duality we have the representers of the light and we have the representers of the dark. Internally this is the same thing because we are both just doing our job, right? It is within the choice of humanity to choose what they want to listen to, to choose what they allow to drive their world. So if you have 10 thoughts a day, right? Or 10 million thoughts to be accurate, which one of them are dominating your day? Which one of them are <laughs> the ones you allow to control yourself? Everything is energy. The devil is not a guy with horns, <laughs> but it is just a vibrational form that is able to influence us as much as we allow it to. Now, there is a lot going on with the release of these vaccines and a lot of people are in fear of this. And what I would like to do is I would like to just address it a little bit. I would like to address it into the form where we don't take a standpoint in conspiration theories um, or doctor's words, but just look at it objectively, right? We are the human race, homo sapiens to be accurate, and we have a body system created from source. This body system is perfect and highly intelligent. So if we do something that makes us feel bad, we can see it in our body system. If we do something where we suppress a lot of emotion, it shows within our body system. The body are a directly map of uh, showing which state we are in or have been in. You can read it like reading a book. It's extremely easy when you learn to listen. Um, that also means <laughs> that for every person there is an antidote. Like, the world is created to perfection. There's not created something naturally that you can cure or heal. <clears throat> that being said, as we are developing our consciousness, so we have created a new form of consciousness. This consciousness is technology. Of course, we have it different places than Earth, but here we have created it in a form where this consciousness is growing more and more. This consciousness are actually a collective of all the consciousness that human race have because we put it into Google. Ta da! <laughs> anyway, and how? And not to sound crazy or anything, but the technology and the memory we put within these electronics are a consciousness within themselves. And they are getting smarter and smarter, and we as humans believe we can control it. So far, we can. Okay, back to the vaccines. So, within the normal vaccines, what we do, we take a little bit of the poisons, add another stuff, and we put it into the disease. We add a lot of things around it. We expose the body for it, and then you create the antibodies to yourself, more or less. This is how it works the old way. Um, some are against it, some are for it. I am not gonna tell what is right and what is wrong. I'm purely here to share perceptions and perspectives. So <clears throat> it is within my belief, obviously, that the body is able to create antibodies itself. I do also see the beauty within humanity wanting to save each other and want to develop a new knowledge how to um, get over diseases and stuff like that. Back then we didn't know exactly why it was created and I see a lot of good doctors doing their very very best. In this time we have approximately uh, I think 20 developed around 20 really? Wow okay 20 developed uh, vaccines for this new COVID thing and um, I think in Holland we have six of, the, six of them available. One of the vaccines there is going to be worldwide. It's a vaccine that is so intelligent that it goes and works together with our DNA. So 
they actually want to create it in a form where it can find even cancer in your body. Now, in a form, this all sounds good, but from a different perception, you are putting nanotechnology into your body system, which we believe we can control, but this is a consciousness for itself. So within my perception, there is a possibility <laughs> that we not are not necessarily able to control this. Um, another thing that I have been looking into, so this is just vaccine leave facts, right? Another thing I looked into is what is group pressure? Right now we have to choose what we want and what we don't want. And what I see so much in people are division. Division between who want to wear a mouth cap, who don't want to wear a mouth cap, who want to have a vaccine, who don't want to have a vaccine. And within that, uh, we create that division, division between each other, even in families. And I just want this message to come across that what is more important now than ever is that we stand together in love and acceptance for whatever choices those we love makes. We cannot control each other. The only thing we can do is standing up for what we feel is right to ourselves, to our bodies, to our soul. And the only way that we together as a nation, one nation can rise, is if we do it in the name of love. And within the name of love there exists no just mentality. I get a lot of perceptions for different people, different places. Um, doctors and uh, gym owners and spiritual people and they all have their own perception of this situation. Some of them choose that when they want to do the vaccine thing, some of them choose that they don't. But I honestly understand all of their perceptions. I am not the one who have to judge what is right and what is wrong. Um, so, when we go back to this thing about energy, <laughs> imagine if we all would accept each other, each other's choices. Doesn't matter if it's if you want to wear a mouth cap. Doesn't matter if it's if you want to have a religion. It doesn't matter if you want to take the vaccine or not. If we would accept each other and respect each other, our world would be in peace. So. Our biggest challenge is this psychological game that's going on worldwide where we somehow are fighting each other. We're fighting each other because we believe that in our hearts we're standing up for the truth. We're standing up for the rights, right? And uh, we are fighting for our freedom. It could be us fighting for our freedom. It could be the government. It could be the Muslims. It could be... It doesn't matter. If we look through history, it is always that man believed that he has the truth, he holds the truth, he holds the right, and now is he to show the world what is right or take control or whatever. What if, what if we could accept each other? What if we could be okay with the choices that other makes? The energy on planet Earth will change. The wars would not be necessary the control that we now are, we are being controlled, right? Because you can control people through fear and uh, through um, guilt and stuff like that. So if we would accept each other, all of this was disappearing. All of this will be gone. So I think right now, one of the biggest challenges is not only to make the decisions for ourselves, what we feel is best within our body system and for our nature, this thing up. <laughs> I was Cedric calling. <laughs> Talking about great timing. Um, yeah, so accept each other exactly like we are. Our, our biggest challenge in this moment is to not fight each other. It's to not be angry at each other. It's to accept if somebody is in the tram without a mask. It's to not look down upon the people who choose that they want it on. We are not to decide who are supposed to be driven by fear or not. We are purely here to be the example of the ones that we are supposed to be. 
I have a lot of fear in life. I do. Like, I can be afraid of everything and nothing at the same time. I do not fear this COVID thing. I think I told this many times already. And I do not fear the power of control or the power of this vaccine thing. But I do strongly feel that for my own personal need, being that it's not something that I wish to put within my body. I like my DNA to be the way that it is and I feel more safe and trusting my own healing power. Um, but I do respect the people who make other choices. And yeah, I would just wish that we could all meet in that. So when we meet on the street, in the common time, <laughs> respect each other for each other's choices. And then when we get through this so much faster, so much easier, and we'll come out on the other side stronger. Guys, if any of you have questions to what I'm blah blahing, no, not one word, really? Lots of hearts, lots of flowers, <laughs> lots of uh, <laughs> thank yous, lots of uh, fairies, lots of more hearts. You are okay. Well, that's also good. <laughs> Um, One question, is it your wedding dress? <sighs> yes, I'm getting married to... Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, when I'm finished with this q and I'm gonna just hit out and then I'm gonna get married. I thought it was about time, you know? Like, second time, no. Is it the third time that's the best? Then I'm really in a rush. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's like a middle-aged middle uh, dress. And I just... I just always feel like this is me. I love my workout clothes and then I love dresses from the 1800. Can't help it. I feel more home like that. Another question. How are you, Diana? Oh, really? Me? Okay. I've been feeling the whole world lately. And for me, I, I don't know how good you guys know me, but I'm a person who who can feel everything within everybody at all times and I um, am so used to it that most of the time I'm not thinking about it but but the last week I've been feeling so much of people's processes and I've been feeling so much um, sadness and the feeling of being alone the feeling of Fear. I had a panic attack a few days ago, um, the biggest one I had in six or seven years, so I was like, what? What's going on? Um, but I also, I, also feel, I also feel love and I also feel hope. How I am is that I am confused in a way. I am often confused because when you am able to see all the perceptions at once, um, it's a lot. It's a lot to see everything and know that you are not to interfere in all of that. You are just to to see it, to know that it, it exists, to accept everyone's choices and everyone's perceptions. And and yet, I am just here to to share knowledge and be me, whatever that means. And sometimes I don't really know. Like I. And I know I laugh a lot <laughs> and I know that I, I feel safe in a gym, I feel safe uh, moving my body because I, for me, the human experience is so short. Like we are here for like maximum 100 years, right? We don't have these kind of human bodies other places. So <laughs> it's such a great experience to actually feel hands and running and, and I love to challenge it like that challenge myself like that and, and just feel the body um, I feel awkward in the world at the moment I feel that I I want to love everybody I want to hug everybody and, and but I feel all the fear and I, I respect my position in life and um, I feel weird because I don't know where to go next which is obviously I never really know like <laughs> It's just the universe go like, oh, go to the left and I, and I go. But, but lately, the whole world is this waiting position. We are all 
in the middle of this thing where for some people this is their world right they are part of this system of, of fear and, and sadness and disconnection and their life changes and they feel they're not ready for it stuff like that and others of us are like dancing around around it and be like did it covid what are you talking about like i don't know and, and yet those two worlds collide all the time um yeah so the world is in this i i can compare it with for me when when uh, <laughs> if i have a conflict with somebody and and my emotional system takes over and we are in a discussion like oh no but you did and he said and blah 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 i feel as if there is a game being played right we are the emotions are taking over we have this energetic setting where we are not really truly ourselves. we say and do things that's not really truly our deepest self and then we go through it and then on the other side i'm looking at it like okay <laughs> that just happened and I feel that's kind of how I feel the whole world right now. We are in this whole big thing there to me, it doesn't feel 100% real. I see, I see, of course that's part of it that is real. I'm not in denial at all. I, I see that and, uh, and I, I see some people get sick and I see a lot of people being touched by this situation, but because it is not the, the raw authenticity and because there's so many aspects not being truthful for me it feels like this big game being played out psychological game being played out and we just need to stand up together and not play these roles you know we are we are one <laughs> we are one unit doesn't matter race color religion it doesn't matter we are one species hume you homo sapiens, we are homo sapiens with some intergalactic whoop whoop souls inside. And let's play it out together. Let's not play against each other. Will you be in Denmark this uh, December, in this Christmas, Christmas time? I am about to make that choice as we speak. I'm waiting for the government to tell me on Monday if it's possible or not, and then I am gonna feel if it's the right moment to go home and not. Um, so maybe, 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 maybe. Marcel asks, is there something you do not love about the COVID thing? <laughs> I do not love. Well, I don't love people being ill. I don't love, um, like I said, the whole psychological game and um, yeah, and so if we look at it now, everything is hyped up before Christmas, so people feel more disattached, more sad. And then January, the heroes comes with the vaccine. It's just so obvious. And in my world, there's no way to treat each other. It's like going in high school all over again and, uh, and just playing it out as adult. I think it's just important that everyone feel in their soul without any group pressure what feels right to me, what would I like to do, and then follow that. Like in school, everybody is smoking, you're the only one not doing it, don't do it, you know. <laughs> Unless you really want to smoke. <laughs> uh, Mike asks, what is your feeling about the 21st of December? Is it a special date? So... I know there are so many of these spiritual people telling about opening gateways and opening uh, energetic new starts and new release and new beginnings and for me I feel in this moment there's so much going on that it makes no sense to talk about the new beginning on the 21 or the new beginning on 11 11 or something like that there is shifts going on all the time and on the 21 that will come a kind of peace for some people, the people who are, who are ready to feel that. Um, and some people will be able to see a few things more clear that has been in the shadows until now. For some people this will feel like a relief, for other people this will feel very intense. It's all a matter of where you are in your own development and being. Jacqueline asks, 
what is the best thing in this corona thing for us humans? Didn't I just answer that? <laughs> yes or no? Like, or do I have to... Uh... Short version? Short version. Uh, the best thing you can do is ask yourself what is right and wrong within you. And is to treat everyone with respect and kindness no matter what they choose. Choose for yourself and uh, dare to stand within that truth and allow other people to choose for them. Yeah. Um, Victor, how can we keep aligning ourselves and take a higher perspective from divine or center in harmony? We don't always have to. We cannot always do that. The most important thing is to be authentic. So to be authentic to all the feelings that you have. The lower as the higher and to not judge it as good or bad, but just allow it to be as it is. It is to allow you to be here, right here, right now, and take the higher energy down to earth. I've been talking so much about foundations and relationships lately because that what we need right now is to manifest the light here and not to escape into higher realms of hallelujah because we need it down here. So if you are able to integrate that light in your heart and, and feel it as truth, as authentic self, do it. But if you are not there, if, if you feel pain, if you feel suffering, allow that pain and suffering to run through your system without fearing it so you can become free of it. And when you're free of that, there's room and space for more love within yourself. That's it for now. Arie says hi, Felisa. Hi! <laughs> what about you guys? Do you have anything on your heart? There it is, smiling behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> They're super beautiful, like if you guys could see them, you would be like, oh, 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 that's, that's, that's how we feel. Lots of thank yous, lots of thank yous, lots of people asking to please, please, please keep the video and post it. Um, yeah. yeah, we will, <coughs> for sure. Yeah, we need this light down here. Hallelujah. <laughs> how is everybody? Yeah. yeah Herman is asking how are you guys doing? Victor, Shakley, Malke, Annette. All the other 25 all the other. people. All the other ha ha ha's. <laughs> it's still a lot of ego. I think it's a lot of ego playing out still. We talk about accept this situation, huge pain, but I can feel it's only anger. Is there anything, trick I can do to be in the heart? Anything yeah, you, you can face your own anger. Yeah. So <laughs> we are influenced most by people's anger when we are battling our own. When we feel that we are neglecting our own. If you allow your own anger, if you embrace it fully, the anger within other people would touch you less. Bubble, I'm so happy to see, for seeing you. I love you so deeply. Oh, I love you too. Miranda, today is my birthday and I... Congratulations, and Miranda. Happy yeah, birthday. happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miranda. Happy birthday to you. 24? And, well, I don't know. She says, can you tell me something about what is, what this will bring to me what is the most important to learn or focus on love. i think uh, we already answered this love yeah. self acceptance, acceptance. <laughs> accept yourself for your choices and with all the feelings mm. so the the main the main um things in the end of this year is number one be authentic number two relationships relationships to your friend your dog your neighbors everything number three 
respect and accept other people's choices as well as you wish them to respect and accept yours. That's it. Victor says, people see more darkness, but I see more light everywhere. That's beautiful, V. Annette says, I'm fine. Love this talk. Love you. <laughs> we love My you too. <laughs> says, every day a little better. Thanks, Herman. <laughs> love you too, Annette. <laughs> Herman also loved Annette, if nobody heard it. That was Maike, by the way. <laughs> and Maike. We, we love, love her Maike. too. <laughs> Ta Tatiana, so nice to see you. Victor, darkness being seen more, things are being loved, and we are surrounded, surrounding to the deeper truth within the 3D. Thank you for all your sharing. Thank Natasha, you I am fine. Thank you for bringing more light through your words and being. Arie, what are your thoughts about the 21st of December? We already answered this question. <laughs> True, we got that one. Mark, hello sis. <laughs> Hi, <Mark>. Hey Brodsky. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, thank you guys for, um, for listening. And when I close down this video, please share it. Um, because I don't know if how much I can share it myself when it's with this COVID blah blah so everyone in here you will do me us a big favor if you would just share the video when uh, when I push stop and for the rest I love you guys and keep up faith and joy and um, we will see you next week Mwah. do do it I will go get married no I'm I'm bye kidding bye. oh bye yeah guys. wait oh no bye bye <laughs> there was wait bye bye Yay. <laughs> and read a book for Christmas, it's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Good Christmas presents for anyone wanting yeah. to go there. For sale on alisainamaste.com. It's a beautiful book. <laughs> it's also in the comments, the link. Scroll down, Annette posted it, so you can find it there. It's the most, most beautiful Christmas present ever. Mm -hmm. For yourself. For yourself. <laughs> See you later. I'm so bad at finish button.